What's up everybody, it's J-Dog from J-Dog Collects. I went back to that antique shop where I get all my comics and I spent $128. Let's see what I got. And for these, I'm looking to make some profit and sell back because I got some decent deals on them. I got Indiana Jones, number one. I figured since the new uh, movie's coming out, might be a little bit of hype about around that. Get a decent amount. It's in pretty good shape too. It's just a, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of like color stain a little bit. But other than that, it's pretty sharp. And I got Marvel Premiere number 26. This is the first uh, solo story of Hercules in Marvel Comics. It's pretty cool. That's super villain team up number one. It's got a lot of spine ticks and then a little bit of chipping on the side. But I've seen ones in worse condition on eBay going for like 20 to 25 sometimes even $30. So yeah, I thought that was a pretty decent pickup. I got this one for $3.99. It's not bad at all. And I got the Inhumans number 11. It's the first appearance of Korath Thak. I think that's how you say his name. It goes for a decent amount of money. It's pretty sharp looking too. Only a couple of spine ticks, but other than that, pretty sharp. And I thought these were pretty cool. I got Astonishing Tales, number 26. The second appearance of Deathlock. I got that one for six ninety nine, something like that. But I averaged it all up when I divided how many books I got. I got thirty eight books in total, and I divided it by what I spent. That came out to about three thirty seven a book. So I make profit on every book either way. Move these over here. You got Astonishing Tales 27, more Deathlock, number 30. See, you can see right there that one's been written on, but it shouldn't affect it too bad. It's pretty sharp other than that. Got number 30. Number 32. 33. 34, 35, and 36. Pretty neat. Then I got a bunch of Howard the Duck books. It's almost nearly a full run of Howard the Duck. I'm missing the Kiss Issues, number 11, and a couple of the 30s. Like, I'm I got, uh, I think I, a couple of the uh, later teen issues too. Let's start it off with number two. Pretty cool. These were really good deals. They had a bunch of these in bags for like six ninety nine, stuff like that. There was a bag, two bags of five that were eight ninety nine. They're all in pretty good condition. Some of them have a little bit of wear on them because they've been read a decent amount, but for the most part, these look really, really good. Number four, look, just look how the colors pop on that. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. This one's pretty cool. Number 10, we got Spider-Man right there. Number 14, that's a key issue right there. I forgot the key sneak fans of that, but I know that's a key issue. That goes for a decent amount. Number 15 is a key issue too, but it's beat all the crap. It's you got a really bad spine warp on in the back right there. 
It's pretty ratty, but still should get a decent amount for that one. Even though it's got some obvious, you know, wear on it. Then we get back to a good looking one, number 16. Number 20. Move these out of the way here. 21. 22. This nice man thing cover right there. 23. That's a key issue too, I think. I can't remember what that one is either, but I got 24. 25 26 I love the colors on 27 they pop really really good 28 29 number 30 ironed up it's pretty cool and 31 Sorry about my finger getting in the camera lens. You see right there, someone wrote 25 cent on it. Or something, 25 plus, something like that. Then we got annual number one. I also forgot to mention that the, the Deathlock 34, somebody was trying to be a comedian and they drew on the back of it. And I'll show you in a second. See, somebody drew on the back of that guy. That's like stuff I'd do to my textbooks in school. But I would never do it to a comic book. It's just a shame, man. I mean, it's not the best condition either on the front, but at least it looked pretty. Like it looks pretty presentable. I should still be able to get a little bit of money for that, about five dollars. I almost forgot. I got these Iron Man books right here too. This pack had 123 and 124 in them, and I paid $4.99 for both of them. It was a good deal, and I've got duplicates of these, so it don't bother me at all to sell these. Well, as you can see, that's quite a stack of comics right there. And after calculating all the prices and stuff that I should be able to sell these for, it comes out to a total of $361. That's pretty good for buying that for $128.22. That's a profit of $232.78. Not bad if you ask me. I'm going to be posting these on eBay soon. I need to get stuff to be able to package these and ship them right so they don't get messed up. If any of y'all are interested, just comment down below. I'll, be, be, I'll put my ebay down in the description or send it to you in the comments and then just be looking for them for when i post them up thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one have a good one